Ever since Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay summited Mount Everest, New Zealand has had a special relationship with the Sherpa people of Nepal. Now that relationship has turned into a dilemma. After a year of no income from tourism, the Nepalese government has made the call to open the borders and invite mountaineers back in. But that's left adventurers and doctors questioning whether it will bring another deadly wave of the virus to the mountain dwellers. The remote Khumbu region of the Himalayas may look deserted, but it's home to thousands of Sherpas. The ethnic group made famous by Tenzing Norgay, who summited Everest with Sir Edmund Hillary in 1953. Has climbed to the top of the world. And while the world's borders have been closed in an effort to halt COVID-19, the virus has stealthily made its way into the far reaches of these secluded mountains and valleys. The COVID-19 has been a major impact for the Sherpa community and Nepal in total over the last year. Mingma Norbu Sherpa is the CEO of the Himalayan Trust in Kathmandu, the charity set up by Sir Ed. He says the pandemic has been devastating. It's killed more than 3,000 people and disrupted tourism for a year, wiping out the 2020 Everest season, which 80% of people here rely on for their entire income. It's the worst kind of disaster, really. Himalayan Trust Chair Peter Hillary agrees things are dire. And a lot of them actually are running out of food. Um, up in the high villages. So it's, it's a serious business. There isn't a, um, a wage subsidy. There, there isn't a welfare program. Despite surging COVID cases in Nepal and in neighbouring India, the Nepalese government has relaxed border restrictions in an effort to attract more climbers. The seven-day quarantine has been scrapped. Tourists are now tested on arrival and are free to go as soon as their results come back negative. But Kiwi mountain guide Guy Cotter decided months ago it would be irresponsible for his company to take an expedition to Everest this year. For us, it's not a good move to actually be over there with the potential of spreading the virus into these vulnerable communities. Instead, they raised $70,000 and sent it directly to the Sherpas they would have been working with. But he knows just how desperate the Sherpas are for mountaineering to continue. Very much a catch-22 and that's why I'm reluctant to place judgment on why they might be operating and inviting tourists in. American Kim Bannister is based in Kathmandu and runs tricks in the Himalayas with her Sherpa business partner. She's holding off taking groups until October, but understands why Nepal has opened its borders. People are not scared or worried of the virus anymore. They're really just scared of, of not being able to survive for another year. Dr. Kami Temba Sherpa thinks they should still be scared of the virus. He caught COVID-19 last December and it's taken him months to recover. When I developed pneumonia or my oxygen saturation was dropping down, I thought, I was not going to make it. Dr Kami believes there's a high chance new strains of COVID-19 will come in with the mountaineers. Another risk Bannister doesn't want her clients dealing with. The virus is spreading here, so I'm not encour encouraging my clients to come to Nepal for that reason. One positive for the people of Nepal is that the vaccination effort is underway. It began ahead of New Zealand's. And 1.6 million doses have so far been administered. However, it remains to be seen if the vaccine is as successful as the virus at reaching these remote communities.